Hey everyone, it's Simon Hurley here on a live stream tonight. I have not been on here in quite some time, and the reason being is because I have been sick for quite a while. I lost my voice for like a week, and then after I was like almost well, I was like really sick again. So um, I'm glad to be with you guys tonight. I've been making some videos, and I'll upload those soon as well, but I wanted to chat with you guys and get something out to you as soon as possible. So once a couple more of you guys joined me, I had posted a couple questions over on Instagram, like a story over there, um, to get some questions from you guys. And you and ask some really awesome ones about my life. You can really ask anything about crafting, um, anything like that. And I'll answer those in today's video. Hey there. So this is super exciting. I see some comments coming in now. Um, awesome. So I'm going to start on my list of questions and then I can kind of continue down and hopefully later on if you guys want to ask some questions as well as we're going through the stream, that would be awesome too. So let's start out with a couple questions here. I'm going to start out with um, how did you get started in card making because this is one of the biggest questions that I get. I'm a 16 year old card maker right now so I started when I was really young when I was like 11 years old. And the whole story is explained really well in a scrapbook.com video that I did with them. Um, so I'll have that linked down below in the description. Um, it's down there already. So if you guys want to go check that out, um, check out the video on how I got started in card making. That tells the story really nicely. Um, but basically, I was always a super crafty and creative kid. And so I would create nonstop, whether it was like Crayola markers to roll paper bead earrings or different you know, crafts like crocheting and polymer clay, I did everything. And then I would kind of quit different crafts because I would get a little bit bored of them and there was never really an industry behind the crafting. And then um, finally, I found alcohol inks from Ranger and I fell in love with them, it created a ton of backgrounds, but I think we all know what happens. We create a ton of backgrounds with the product that we love and then never end up using them. So I didn't know what card making when I created that, but I looked up some videos and found out card making from um, alcohol inks and then I instantly fell in love with both the industry and the crafting and kind of you know the therapy that it was and then I just kind of continued on and, and love that I'm able to share now with everybody else too. Hey everyone so if I keep looking off to the side here that's where all of your comments are during the live if you're after the live um, thanks for stopping by and you could definitely be in here um, but it's a participation kind of thing, so I'll be looking off to the side. You guys can totally ask questions during the live stream, and um, I'll answer them too. So I have a couple questions here as well. Um, you can really ask about anything, and I'll hopefully answer if it's not weird. Um, but the next one is, is my mom a crafter? A lot of people ask this too. We'll be at shows together, and they'll ask if she was the crafty one that got me kind of like inspired and things like that. And we talk about it every once in a while. And she's not really a crafter herself. However, she's kind of a teacher. She is, well, she is a teacher. So she would buy us like a bunch of different kits, like crafting kits when we were little. We were always had our hands busy, whether it was like painting rocks or doing like some cool plates and making our own stuff. So it was like a crafting kind of, you know, we were raised to make different things. Um, but she would also do scrapbooking when we were really young. And then once you have three kids and then don't have enough time for scrapbooking anymore, you know, your third kid gets a half an album. Um, but yeah, she is kind of a creative person and she's got a really cool style as well, but I wouldn't call her a, a crafter really. Um, how did I build up my collection of crafting supplies? Over time, there is quite a few supplies back here and I know there's craft rooms full of even more than this. Um, it gets to be overwhelming sometimes, but how did I build up my collection? It's been, um, I think, five years now, and I've just been either buying stuff, working with different companies to, you know, promote different things that I love. I only promote the things that I love, though, so if I get sent something that I don't love, it either goes to donations or goes to a crafter who would, who would enjoy it, and it's their style. Um, but I only really love to promote things that I love. Um, but just kind of building up your collection over the years, you don't need to buy a ton of stuff, and I wouldn't recommend to buy a ton of stuff. In fact, even me, I have a trouble using everything that I have. Um, so I would just purchase the things that you absolutely love, and then maybe don't purchase anything until you've got that stuff used at least once, um, and then kind of keep adding to your collection like that. 
Oh, thank you so much, Melody. That's really awesome of you. Okay, so um, another thing that people ask a lot is, did my parents invest in me and my YouTube channel? Um, and the answer to that is really kind of no. I started when I was, I think, 11. And when I would do crafts, I would always um, purchase the things myself. So whether it was birthday money or Christmas money, I would save up all of that and purchase the different crafting items um, that I would need. And it was really awesome. And I love that they did that, actually, because throughout this whole process, it wasn't that they've been giving me cameras and giving me laptops and, and crafting supplies to work with and, you know, the whole world. It's been me kind of growing with and it's it's really rewarding like this to do it like this um that my hard work kind of gave me all of this and um you know i started with one camera and like a point and shoot camera and then i upgraded to this camera and i've had lots of support from the family members as well so it might not have been you know donating money but like sharing different things like cameras and my uncle gave me a camera um to use and work with and stuff like that so my dad always helped me put everything in and install it and create those shelves behind me and all this furniture in here and stuff like that I did invest in with the money that I've been making from this. So everything that you see is all because of you guys supporting me throughout this whole journey. So I really appreciate that. It has been an absolute honor to be sharing my stuff with you and um, I hope we can continue growing and I really appreciate everything you guys do for me because without you, I would not be this far in the crafting industry and I really appreciate all of the awesome support you guys have given and even just watching every single video is just enough for me to be so thankful for all of you guys. Was I nervous about my first video and showing my face for the first time? Um, a lot of people ask this and I think a lot of people have that nervous to post their first video and I definitely was but I think my nerves came more from the fact that I was in school and I was worried about what other people would think of the videos. Um, but once you get past that initial fear of putting your first video out, my first videos were nothing great. I always say that too. I always say I started five years ago and have improved immensely since then. Um, I was fast talking. The lighting was awful. Um, but it was, it was just me, you know? And once you post that first video and share yourself with the world, um, there are going to be people who fall in love with your personality and would love to chat with you and interact with you and watch you. Um, so just know that there's always going to be people out there that love your content that you create, even though there's some that don't love it. Um, so I was definitely nervous about the first time that I made my video, but it's really rewarding once you're able to get that first video out and see a little bit of traction on it. Um, and then, you know, it's always... A continuous process. You can't just put that first video out and expect like extreme success right away. I definitely didn't. It took about a year to even get like a hundred, but then once you get past that first point of, you know, a couple followers, then you really start building that traction. But just really sharing your personality is going to be what helps you shine. And don't be afraid to post that first video, even if it's not great, because you can always private those later on in your journey, which I have definitely done as well. Thank you so much, Cindy. That's really awesome of you. I really appreciate that, guys. Um, so yeah, definitely post your first video and see how it goes um, because there's nothing you could really lose from it. Um, another person, oh, a lot of questions that I get are, how do I balance this and school? And that is a really good question because sometimes I don't even know. Um, yeah, my mom just said at the start, they wouldn't let me show my face, so I would just film the desk. So even if you are afraid of sharing your face, you can always do, like, filming your project and then do the voiceover, too, which I did for a long time. And I actually um, really enjoy doing that because then you can listen to whatever you want to and film. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah, a lot of people ask how I balance my school and card making and stuff and making videos and creating products and things like that. Um... And it's difficult quite a bit because it's like I, you have to be really dedicated and love what you do in order to be doing both. And, you know, you could say that you're too busy to do it, even if you have a full-time job too. Um, but school is kind of similar to that full-time job where it's, you know, you do work there and then you come home and, and you do stuff too. Um, but 
it can be a little bit difficult, but you always make time for what you love. And so whether that's staying up really late and not having a good sleep the next day, but being really passionate about what you love to do. And for me, I've always been super passionate about creating stuff. And then also there has a huge passion for like electronics and editing. So I always love learning that new stuff. Um, and so it, it takes quite a bit of time and dedication to be doing both at the same time, but I absolutely love what I do and I wouldn't ever stop doing it, you know? Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I make time for it. Just late nights, weekends, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice not going to someone's house or hanging out with friends, um, to, to create videos. I do still get time to do all that stuff, but sometimes if, you know, if it's not going to work with my filming time or anything like that, I have to set certain times aside to do everything. Yeah, Mel, you absolutely have to love what you do in order to do it because these videos take a ton of time to film and edit them and things like that if you want them to be really short and sweet and, and make sure you guys get as much out of them as possible. And so you do definitely have to absolutely love what you do. And I love interacting with all of you guys, so it makes it all worthwhile 100%. Like I said at the beginning, I quit a lot of other art forms because there wasn't this whole kind of industry around it. Um, but once you have that audience and, and there's a whole crashing community that is really supportive of, another, of one another and everything, I love this community so much, and all the new products and things like that, it really makes it worthwhile to do and all of you guys make, make every day worthwhile. Oh, Melly said she didn't show her face for the first few years either. It's, definitely, it's a little bit scary to show your face, so maybe just film your projects at the beginning and then kind of as people love that, then introduce your, your face and, and things like that. What would you tell a beginner if they wanted to start making cards? Um, so if you don't have any supplies and you want to start making cards, I would start with some of the basics. In fact, I'll link a video after I'm done. I'll link a video down in the description or on screen somewhere here too. After the video is over, um, I'll link that there. And I did a video with scrapbook.com sharing my favorite basic products to start out with with card making, some of the necessities that you need and then some things you can add on as you go. And that'll be really helpful for you guys, hopefully. Um, I'll actually link down all my classes below from scrapbook.com because they got some really good, we, we did like how to begin card making like a boss um, and then different stamping and technique classes. So that's really good. I would watch a lot of videos. Um, sometimes when you're first starting out, you don't know your card making style and it's totally okay to get inspiration from other people and kind of almost even copy other people's cards as long as you're not putting them online. You could totally copy someone's card exactly and then just don't claim it as your own even if you do share it. Um, and then, you know, find your style from that. At the beginning, I did not know. I tried the grunge look. I tried the super bright colors that were so in your face. I tried mixed media. And then once you figure out what you love and what you don't love, you can kind of figure out a taste for your own style. For me, it's really clean and simple with lots of inks and paints and stuff like that um, to add color. But I stick with like pretty simple layered cards. Oh, thank you so much for donating the Memory, memory Traveler. That's really awesome. Okay, so let's see. Wondering what state I live in. Hello from Alabama. Um, I live in Wisconsin. It's, it actually just started snowing here today. So, not a big fan of that, but, okay, I was surprised how long it took to edit my first video. It's gotten easier, but still time consuming. Exactly. It is very time consuming to edit your videos. Now, it takes a lot of practice um, to get to the point where it, it kind of speeds up a little bit, but if you really want to, you know, put that time and effort in your videos, it does take a little bit of time, but it's, for me, it's always been super worthwhile to do that um, because I love giving you guys content that's really polished and edited down because I don't love to watch videos that aren't edited down. Um, it saves a lot of time if you're watching a video that's cut down and straight to the point, which I really like. Okay. Somebody said, Melody just discovered you. That's awesome, Christina. Melody is an awesome crafter. Okay. Who did I inherit my positive attitude from? It's just, I don't know. It's It kind of comes with this whole... Um, industry, it gives me a smile on my face to always chat with you guys and, and things like that. Yeah, Christina, so copying cards is a great way to learn. The one thing that I do want to encourage is to make sure that if you are copying cards, you can totally give them away to other people and things like that. 
but just make sure not to share them online. Or if you do, make sure to say that you got them from a tutorial from so-and-so. Um, it's really important to do that because that is someone else's design um, and you don't want to like steal it. But totally copying to you know, improve yourself is perfect. Somebody asked about my brother's scan and cut. I have been having problems with that. I bought one and I think it's defective. So I'm going to reach out to Brother Scan and Cut um, before I talk about it at all because mine isn't working at all. Um, it works like once and then it kind of stopped working. So I'm going to contact them, hopefully see if that can get fixed because I want to use it for classes. I think it's a great machine and I think it's really cool. But we'll talk about that later in upcoming videos if I get a new one. Okay. Yay. Okay, how do I not get overwhelmed with choices? So, with choices of stuff, this is how I don't get overwhelmed, and I know some people get annoyed when I say this, but I will pick, like, one stamp set off the stack um, of stuff that I want to work with, that I really want to work with, and I'll pick that one stamp set off, and I'll start working with that, and then maybe I'll pick another stamp set, but start with one thing, and take it to your desk, and just set it in the middle of your desk and start working with the supplies you love. So maybe bring your inks in and things like that. But having a whole stack of supplies is super overwhelming. So pick the stuff that you love off of the stack and then just start working with that. Um, there's If you're talking about with online shopping choices, you just have to know what you love. Um, sometimes I don't even follow companies. I follow the companies that I absolutely love. Um, and, and just follow the companies that you love on social media and see what they're sharing. I know sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming with a release every month if somebody's doing that. Um, with me, I think I'm doing month uh, releases a couple times a year so that it's not super overwhelming for people and that they can work with the stuff that they have already and continue to keep creating products with or projects with that. Um, but it can get a little overwhelming. Just kind of decide what you love and, and stick with that and you don't just know that you don't need to have everything in your stash um not everything is created for everybody okay oh no i am getting lost here in the comments okay so somebody said it's snowing there as well see i don't get i don't like the snow it's okay for a little while and then it just gets too far like right now we don't need the snow what are some great editing videos? I am just starting out on editing and I'm really struggling. I so wish you did editing videos. I don't know how to edit an editing video. I don't know how to like put my, my screen on the screen for you guys. Um, but with me for editing, if I ever ran into a problem, I would just search up on YouTube. I would go on YouTube and I would search how to do whatever I was struggling with and then like whatever program that I used to use. So I used to use Sony Vegas. Now I'm switching over to Max. So I need to relearn the whole editing software. So I'm right there with you with learning editing. Trust me. It's a little bit difficult at first. Um, if you can sit down and watch a video that's like an in-depth video on how to edit all together on there, um, that's really good too. Um, with me for editing, I don't really use anything fancy. I just do like chopping up my video and then putting it together. And that's basically all I do, add an intro and an outro, and then it's good. Um, sometimes every once in a while I do like a fancy effect and then I'll look how to do that up. Um, so just search out like specific videos on what you need and those will be really helpful. Okay. Oh, somebody said this. Oh, Angela said this scan and cut is having software issues. Okay, mine isn't soft or hard. Wait, software? Okay, yeah. Mine isn't a software issue. I think one of the rollers is broken. Um, wait, let me know if this is what's happening, but mine is like not feeding the mat in. But I think that's just my machine. Because I think, I don't know. Wait, let me know if that's what's happening. Because mine, like when you press the button to feed in, it doesn't take the mat in. Or sometimes it takes like one side of the mat and then like gets jammed. Um, but I think that's my machine. It's it's new, and I think I got a defective one. She's an expert on the scan and cut. I'll ask May May. I'll I'll ask, but I think I'm pretty sure that it's just my machine though. Um. Okay. Let's see. Have I ever used a die as a stencil? Yes. 
if you mean to die cut it out, I use like Yupo paper to die cut it out, which is that synthetic plastic paper that you put alcohol ink on. You can cut that out and then use it as a stencil and it works really nicely. If you just use the dye itself, that could work too, I think. Um, do I suffer from full set syndrome? Like kind of, a little bit, but like, yeah, yeah. Um, probably, I mean, I have a lot, like if I did a set of inks, I usually like to have the full set, but some, I don't have all of the full sets of inks on the side of me there. So I would say, no, I do not suffer from full set syndrome because I'm not wanting any more inks. I've got mine now too, and I love my colors. If you guys want to purchase any of my inks or stamps, there are links down below in the description. It'll say like shop Simon Hurley create products. And if you want to get any of that, um, that would be awesome. And I'm working on my second release right now. And I can just tell you right now, I am so excited for the second release. It might even be better than the first one. So just get ready. And the colors are okay. Melody said she learned to edit from YouTube too. Exactly. YouTube is great for everything. I learned how to craft from YouTube too. So, okay. Exactly. Where is spring? It's snowing everywhere. What do I do with all the cards that I make? Okay, I struggle with this because I make like three in every video, like every week. Um, they're right now in a ca in a cabinet over there. My family likes to dig through there. Sometimes they'll purchase cards from me and send them off to other people. Sometimes I'll send them off to people. I need to get better on that though. Um, sending them to people, sending them out to some of you guys too, because there's a lot of cards in there that need to be gone. <laughs> like. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Me and my mom crafting together. We did that video. If you guys want to see that, I'll probably try to link it on screen somewhere here after the live stream. It was a really awesome video to film, and we'll try to do more like that soon because everybody loved that video, and it was really awesome. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed that, and I'll definitely try to do more like that as well. My favorite die cutting machine. I don't know what you mean for large dies. I don't use a ton of large dies. Um, but the Gemini Junior is my favorite die cutting machine. In fact, I'll link that down below after the video is over as well. Because if you guys use those links down below in the description, they get me a little bit of a commission too. So I would love if you guys shop down there. It helps me out a little bit while you buy your crafting supplies as well. Um, and it's no extra charge to you. It's just a little bit of supporting me as well. Thank you so much, Ree, for the donation. That's so awesome. Oh, thank you. She said, you're a couple young years younger than me, but you're still a huge inspiration. Thank you for sharing your videos. That means a lot to me. Um, am I coming out with more stuff with Ranger? Definitely. Um, so I'm their signature designer, so we'll, we'll keep coming out with um, new stuff. It wasn't just a one-time thing, which I'm super excited about, and I'm so blessed to be working with them. Um, so yeah, they're, they are an awesome team. I have to give a huge shout out to them because they are really awesome. Oh, Ken and Sean had that problem in a live video. Okay. Thanks for telling me, Melody. I'll, I'll look more into that. I'll contact Ken as well um, to see what happened to him. But I don't know what's going on with my machine. But it wasn't like... It, I Like, I just got this, too. So I think it might be a defective thing, but I'll ask um, to see if they did something that fixed it, too. Oh, it's because of the software. Okay. Yeah, I think they need to get that fixed because my machine is not working and I need to cut some stuff out for an event. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, your super chat came through. Thank you so much, Ree. Um, these cards hanging in the background, I need to add a couple too because I've gotten some recently that are so awesome. Um, those in the hanging background, they are from Ikea, or no, not the cards, the cards are not from Ikea, they're handmade. <laughs> um, the, there's like a little pole at the end of it, and that part is from Ikea, and then it's got like a wire thing going across, and there's another pole. We actually built this shelf right here. You can check out my Instagram, um, I'll link, I think that's already linked down below. There's a picture from a little while back. Me and my dad made that shelf. It's got like a light in there too that shines on the cards. And then the cards are hung underneath there, which is so fun. So awesome. And then those are some of my cards from 
my favorite creators and company owners that sent them to me. Super awesome. And that one right there is from a store in Wisconsin from Linda. So these are all awesome cards back here. That one is from Jennifer McGuire. There's one from Christopher Allen. And then some from my favorite companies, Concord and Knight. Um, there's one from Simon Says Stamp. So really awesome. It's great. A reminder of all of the awesome people that are in this industry. And if you guys send cards too, they'll end up back here. I just need to add some more. I need to switch some out. So I'll keep changing those up. Um, okay. You have great stamps that roll a couple months ago. You have a tool that you use to double stamp example. Well, I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, I did release a line of stamps with a ranger, which is so awesome. Okay. Oh no, sometimes it like scrolls weirdly. Okay. How much do you charge for cards? A lot of people ask this too, because I know a lot of people want to make money on their cards if they go to like craft fairs or things like that. First of all, I think you have to check on the angel policy of the stamps. I'm not quite sure about that. I don't know what goes on with that but I think it should be fine with most of them. Um, I charge like $5 for my cards, but I think that's pretty cheap for a handmade card. Um, you could probably do more too. It depends on what area you're in and what people are willing to pay for them. If you go to an event and you price them too high and there's nobody buying them, maybe price them a little bit lower. When I first started, I charged like 2 or $3 a card just because I was trying to get rid of them. So it depends on what you want to do um, there. But for me, just keep in mind, for me, I would always sell them just to try to get rid of them, kind of. Not really that, but but making videos for me is more of a hobby, and I make a ton of cards per video, and making the cards for me is therapeutic. And so I don't get to send a ton out because I'm super young, and my friends are all in school, and so that'd be a little bit weird if I just give them all cards, even though they want some, so I should probably do that. But... I don't have a ton of people to give cards to. Um, I need to start doing that more now that I'm more in the industry and there's some awesome people to send them to and all of you guys too. I would love to send some cards to you guys. I need to figure out how to do that. Um, but keep in mind that making the cards for me, I didn't. I wasn't looking to make a profit off of them, but you can obviously mark them up higher in order to make the profit. You know, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, agreed, Melody. Ranger is awesome. And they're an awesome company, but their team is insanely amazing. They're great to work with and they take my shenanigans and when I don't get my work in because it's school, you know, anything like that. I love them. Um, do you get credit if I order things when linked? Yeah, so if if I link a product down below and you make a whole order, I think that we get the whole, like 10% of the whole order. Um, we're not taking any of anything that you have. The the company pays us as a little bit of a kickback, like a thanks for sending that customer over to us. So um, yeah, it, you, you don't get anything taken away from you. It's just kind of like an, an appreciation kind of thing. Like a, I created this video and you guys shop through the links and then the company says, you know, thanks for sending them over through your video. So that's kind of what that is. Um, but it just helps support my channel and helps me keep creating videos. Awesome. Yeah, it's a curtain wire. Thank you, Melody. I did not know what that was. I just picked it up and I was like, this would work for hanging cards. Oh, thank you. The old man from up that I actually drew. I drew it and I was so proud of that when I was like, I don't know, when I first started card making. I didn't have a ton of stamps. That's another good idea too. If you don't have a ton of stamps and you don't have a ton of money to invest in stamps, um, cause I know they can be some, somewhat expensive to draw some things. I'm, I would, that was me practicing drawing and it ended up kind of looking cool. So I ended up hanging it up and, and keeping it. Okay. Thank you. Somebody says, love your room, Ada. Thank you so much. Me and my dad worked, um, on putting this whole room together, which is awesome. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, again, it did that whole thing. Okay. Somebody said, do I only make cards? That's really what I only do. Um, I don't have like the pictures to do scrapbooking. I have all the pictures on my phone, but it's not like, 
I don't know. I think that cards for me, that small canvas that you're able to throw away if you don't love it, is perfect for me. And, and um, yeah, I really love all the little critters and coloring all that in. But maybe I'll do some scrapbooking in the future. I don't really know quite yet. Oh, that's a good question, Heidi. Um, she said, okay, so my space training stamp set has, like, the alpha, like, part of the alphabet on it to spell out some words for the, like, like, um, words to go along with the set, and, um, I don't know. The new ones that are this release, I can tell you, aren't going to have that, but that's a good idea for the future, and I might have a whole set like that with the full alphabet on it, um. That's a good idea, because then it kind of finishes all that off. Or maybe a new alphabet, um, because that one kind of goes along just with that set. But we'll see. <laughs> um, shelf with underlighting is so nice. Thank you so much, Sandra. Me and my dad made that. Um, what sort of camera do you use for your videos? I use a Canon G... Um, let's see, what is it called? Okay. It's a Canon Vixia HF G40. So if you want to look that up, it's quite pricey. Um, so don't get alarmed when you see it. I have two cameras, one hanging from my ceiling and one for the front view. So you guys can see me and see the top view. And I just film both at the same time. Um, for a long time, I just had one camera and I would mount it to the ceiling. And then I would do my video and then I would pull it over to the front and I would do my intro on it, but this just made more sense to me um, to do it like this, and then I can flip back and forth between the live stream too. Um, but I totally encourage you to just use your phone at the beginning until you know that you really love it, until you really want to invest in it. Um, once I knew that I was going to be in this for the long, um, long run, for the long run, I decided to invest in lots of equipment to help me out and make making videos faster and easier for me. Um, but use your phone at the beginning. It really is. Our phones can almost record sometimes better than these cameras can. And it's you already have it because it's your daily use thing. Um, so if you invest in a phone with a really nice camera, I know iPhones have really great cameras on them, um, that's going to do you really great too. Because um, then you have a double use kind of thing. Oh, awesome, Valerie. See, I'm going to either message some of you or like do like random drawings maybe every video maybe I'll draw some winners to send out some cards um I'm really bad at shipping things out because I have so much going on and sometimes I forget about it but I need to like make that a priority to send out some cards to all of you guys because you all are awesome for supporting me and I need to show some support back um oh grab bags and put 10 in there Oh, like cards. If you want to just get rid of them fast, that's a good way. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I would like to see my products in New Zealand. Okay, I think, I think they're selling worldwide in some of your local retailers and hopefully and in some of your online stores too. I need to get like a list or something because um, I know I get a lot of questions about this. You just have to ask your local retailer if you want to get it, if they can get it in stock. I know sometimes the local crafting stores are kind of going out of business, which is incredibly sad to me. Um, but if you have a local retailer around you and you want some of my products in stock, be sure to ask them kindly to get in the Simon Hurley Create line with from Ranger, and hopefully they can get that in for you. Um, and yeah. You're totally fine, Belinda. If you didn't order through my link, you're totally fine. If you want to, um, yeah, just know that those links in the future help me out, but it's, you don't need to do it every single time. Um, okay. What state do I live in? I live in Wisconsin. And let's see, have I ever done pop-up cards? Yes, I think. Think so yeah I have I'll link it on screen here after the video is over um, it was for like a hero arts um, blog hop 
and with one of their new releases. And it was like an, I did an inside pop-up card where you open it up and the thing like stands up and pops out. And then I did one where when you put it in the envelope, it like pops up on an action wobbler, which is so fun. Um, so yeah, I'll link to that after the stream. Oh, how do I do a live stream with a camera or two? Um, you have to get like some certain adapters that are also a little bit pricey and then <laughs> plug them into the adapter, plug them into your computer, and then yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> this whole microphone thing, my dad helped me figure out where it goes into both cameras at once so that it's easier to edit and um, things like that. But yeah, it's a lot. And sometimes I don't even know really. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, but. Printable stamps could be a fun giveaway. That's a good idea to do, um, like, an online image for, for, like, an event or something for free. Um, that's a really good idea. I might do that in the future for some drawings that maybe didn't make a full stamp set, but I still want to share with the world and um, show some appreciation, too. Let's see. Yeah, the making of the cards is fun, but also, like, therapeutic for me, um, so that's why I do it. Yes, I started making cards with kits almost ready. That's awesome, Ada. Yeah, card making kits can be like a really great like way to make the cards, especially if you, somebody asked earlier how to get started or not feel overwhelmed. If you purchase like kits, like card making kits, sometimes they can be helpful to get you started and get your ideas running and things like that. For me, I'm not a huge fan of kits. Um, sometimes I feel like they can be a little bit limiting, but I do love some kits out there are really awesome. You have to kind of look for a kit that suits you, I think. Um, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Will I be creating card kits? All I can do is say, I don't know. Um, but maybe in the next couple of years, for sure. Let's see, when you have stamps, oh yeah, Tracy says she just got a microphone for her live streams and it really helps the sound. Yeah, mics can really be helpful. Sometimes the camera microphone, okay, the microphone on your phone, if you're using your phone for recording, is actually really good. Um, so I wouldn't really need a mic for that, I don't think, but for like a camera, sometimes the cameras on these things are like, you would think that like when you buy buy a nice camera, it's like an expensive mic in there, but sometimes these mics are awful. So buying a microphone on the side, I used to use the Blue Yeti for a long time, but the Blue Yeti doesn't actually like input sound into the microphone, so I had to invest in something a little bit more expensive to input into the microphone, but it helps immensely, yes. Oh, thanks, Re. That's really nice of you. Yeah, it, it's really awesome. I love doing these live streams and everything for you guys. Oh, it's your 39th anniversary, Trudy. Happy anniversary. Do I find that I have too many cards, Philip? Only, yes, only because I make them for a living. But I think if you just made them, like, just for fun, I wouldn't be making nearly as many cards if I didn't do this for videos every single week. Um, can I make like three per video? And so, um, I find that I have a couple too many, especially cause I don't have a ton of time to send them out right now because I'm juggling school and this. Um, but that's not the only reason why, but I think making cards and sending them out is awesome. And I think if you have quite a few, it's really great to send them out to your friends. Let's see. Yes, card making, exactly. It's definitely therapeutic. Um, and for me, it like allows me to control a situation. And, and for me as well, um, you know, controlling that situation is really important and helpful um, to have something that you can control um, and definitely like forget about some of the issues in the world. <laughs> Take your anger out on the cards. You'd be surprised how many cards you can create when you're sad or <laughs> something's not going quite right. It takes your mind off of it too. 
Okay. Jess just asked if I have plans in the works for another release at, with Ranger. I know she loves the products. Thank you so much, Jess. Uh, your support is so immense to me. I want to give a shout out to her right now quickly before I answer the question. Um, she's at Card Days Works. So if you guys go check her out, for sure do. Um, she is immensely talented and she uses my products exactly how I wanted them to be used and really demonstrates like is super inspiring to me because when I first started I would use a product a hundred times and get my full use out of them and that's what I designed my products for and she has probably used my products more than I have had time to do and I absolutely love that. Um, she just thinks of like the most creative clever things to do with them um, and I absolutely love it and I, I really appreciate that Jess that you like incorporate them in all different kinds of projects with all different kinds of products. Um, it's so immensely awesome and I get ideas from her every video that I watch from her, so, even with my own products, which is surprising, so, um, but yes, I do have plans in the works for lots more releases with Ranger, we're working on the second release right now, and I'm not going to promise a date yet, because it's taking a little bit longer for me to draw everything, but we have most of the designs done and finalized, um, so we're just kind of finishing everything off and hopefully it can be tied up in the next one or two months and you guys can all see it and it's going to be awesome. So yeah. Let's see. Yes, she turned my trampoline into a pool, like the trampoline friend stamp set. She turned it into a pool, which I never had thought of doing. But turns out like stamping it in blue and it was amazing you need to check it out um but yeah i think i posted that on instagram too i reposted it so if you want to check that out jess's account on instagram as well there's tons of cards on there that using my products which is so amazing thank you so much jess and so much inspiration there that card was absolutely hilarious and i loved it Okay, do we have any more questions? If so, I mean, if not, I'll, I'll end the live stream. But if you guys have any more questions, be sure to ask them soon. Um, but yeah, that was basically it. Oh, oh, here's another question that a lot of people were asking. I have written down from my Instagram stories. Um, a lot of people asking me about my career future. And I can't tell you a ton about this yet. But because, well, because I don't really know yet. But I plan to stay in this industry as long as possible. It's been immensely fun already, and I just plan to expand what I'm doing already. You know, once I get out of school and graduate, I plan to continue creating videos up the scale of these and do quite a few more, hopefully, because I'll have a lot more time for more. Maybe do more releases with Ranger because I'll have more time to work with that and maybe expand what we're doing a little bit more. So that's all I really have to share right now. I have plans for things, but I don't have anything set yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully just keep keep on keeping on in, in this industry. I think it's a really awesome industry. It's I've kind of grown up in the industry, and I absolutely love it, and I hope to keep working in it as much as possible because you guys are amazing. Um, where do I get my supplies? Um, so I don't... Uh, I don't buy a ton of supplies anymore just because I have my own products now and my product line I designed to be like a must, like a must have, like a must have on your desk at all times kind of line. Um, and so I just use my products most of the time now. Um, I do love incorporating other brands and stuff too. I will always be doing that in the future as well. Supporting other brands in the industry means so much to me as to whether I'm posting pictures on Instagram or incorporating them in my videos with my products. Um, is always super important to me because our industry, I love supporting other people and other people love supporting everybody else. Such a supportive kind of family oriented industry, which I love. Um, and so where do I buy stuff though? I love scrapbook.com. They are amazing. Um, amazing. Scrapbook.com is awesome. They've supported me since the start. Getting orders from them is always fast. Um, they ship things amazing, like perfectly with bubble wrap and everything. Keep your products nice and safe. So yeah. 
I would definitely recommend scrapbook.com. Or if you're ordering from a company, like a smaller stamp company, um, definitely order straight from their website too if you want to. Um, do like separate individual orders or if you're just doing one order and you want to support that company itself, maybe do that as well because that helps, helps out that small business and is really awesome for them too. Thank you so much, Ree. That's awesome. Uh, I'm so excited for the future and all your success coming your way. So very proud of you and all you've accomplished. You're a rock star. Thank you so much, Jess. Um, that's Jess from Ricard Day's work. So um, somebody asked what's her name again. Um, right there, you can click on her profile. And she is awesome. Thanks, Denise. Yeah, my plans are definitely to keep growing with it. I don't want to leave this industry anytime soon, so... Do any of my friends from school craft with me? Well, you guys will have to tell me, but maybe we'll pull one of them into my videos one day and do something similar to what I did with my mom. Um, I think that would be fun too, but so far, no, but mainly just because um, I don't keep them too involved with this. I kind of keep that those two things separate, but maybe we'll bring some friends into a video too. Am I going to do any more classes on scrapbook.com soon? Wink, wink. Maybe. Maybe. Very soon. <laughs> okay. I love your card hacks and tips. Will you do more of them? Definitely, Wanda. I'll keep working on more. If you guys ever have any hacks or tips that you would like to share with me and are okay with me including in a video, I'll for sure give your name credit. If you want to, just let me know if you want that too. Because um, I, know, I know some people don't. Um, but yeah, if you ever have any tips or tricks, be sure to leave them in a video, um, and I'll read that and see it. Um, but yeah, it takes me a little while to come up with those tips and tricks because I don't like to do simple things um, that everybody already knows because I it, people don't like that as much. So I, I like to come up with my own creative tips that I'm learning as well. So <laughs> somebody said. Uh, Pear Blossom Press said, I remember before you had your craft room, you always had those cute little lights behind you. So awesome to watch you grow in the industry. Exactly. I was in my basement, too. And, um, what were we talking about in here? Did I have lights behind me in here? I don't know, but before I had this actual room, I was downstairs in my basement. I would do, like, little periscopes from down there when I was, like, 12 or 13. And... Yeah, there was little lights. There was, like, two little lights on my desk, and then there was, like, lights and ceiling lights, like, right behind me, um, and really noisy, like, heaters, too. Awesome. Heidi said she was introduced me through scrapbook.com, and she watches their classes. Thank you so much. Scrapbook.com has been so supportive to me. I cannot give them enough of a shout-out. They are absolutely amazing, and they have supported me since the beginning when I was absolutely nothing, um, and so it really means a lot to me that they're not just trying to jump onto the bandwagon once a little bit of success comes. You know, they, they kind of helped build my success, which um, I'm really thankful for, and um, yeah, they're absolutely amazing, so thank you guys. Um, what do I want to be when I grow up? This. I love doing this. Um... Am I getting snow? Um, yes. We already got snow. I'm not sure if it's covering the ground or if it, like, didn't stick. I think it's covering the ground. And, um, we got snow. So it is a good time to sit down and make cards because it was freezing out today. Awesome, Re. Yeah, scrapbook.com is amazing. I have three classes, three classes with them so far. Wink, wink, again. Um, but, yeah. They're amazing. I'll link those classes down below after this video is over so you guys can check them out. Um, but they always do such a phenomenal job in their classes. I don't, I know a lot of people ask if I plan to do classes by myself. I really don't. <laughs> I love giving my content to you guys for free. And then it really means a lot to me that they give the content for you um, for free as well. So all of those classes are absolutely free of charge. So if you guys check those out after this video, if anybody looks into that a little bit, they're really great classes, like 10 lessons each, um, and they cover so many things. Um, and they're all free, so it's really great. There's a wide variety of different lessons on there. And this new one, actually, wait, I'm not going to show what my new one's about, but it'll come out. You guys will be a little bit surprised, um, but it's so exciting. I think I already shared on Instagram, so if you guys go stalk my Instagram, you can 
you can check out what those classes are about. Awesome. Well, well, guys, it has been an awesome time with you tonight. It's already, we're at 50 minutes right now. I don't want to go too much longer. But thank you, everyone, so much for chatting with me tonight and stopping by. It really means a lot to me. After I've been sick, it's great to come back. Um, talk to you guys all. I have a couple videos planned. I filmed one already. Um, it's a really fun one, kind of an update to a video that I've done in the past. And then, um, will I be creating bunny stamps? We'll see. I've got one bunny already in the trampoline stamp set, um, but maybe as an Easter set for next year? We'll see. Um, oh, just so you know, I don't have that planned yet, but like, maybe. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciated talking to all of you guys. It is so amazing to be back. I love doing this Q&A with you guys, and um, it's been so great to chat with you guys. So thank you and share a little bit more about me and my journey and the crafting industry and what I do and my craft room and everything, all of the above. I love answering all your questions. Um, great. All the comments are rolling in. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Um, be sure to hit that um, thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the stream, if you're in here. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really means a lot to me when you guys do that. It helps support me. Um, and it gives you guys, if you click that little bell next to the subscribe button down below, it also gives you all the notifications to my videos. So once I upload a video, it'll give you a notification in your inbox. And that way you can come see the video and never miss any more content from me, which I really love. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night and keep on crafting. Bye. And now we just have to turn this off. Let's see.